Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on hydraulic gradient line and total energy line for a system where two different cross section area of pipe is connected with tank at the exit. So first I will read what is the given problem. In pipe ABC water is flowing which is 200 meter long. The pipe is laid on an upward slope of 1 in 40. The length of portion AB is 100 meter and its diameter is 100 millimeter. While the length of portion BC is also 100 meter but its diameter is 200 millimeter. The change of diameter at B is sudden. The flow is taking place from A to C. Where the pressure at A is 19.62 Newton per centimeter square and the end C is connected to the tank. Draw the hydraulic gradient line and total energy line. Take F is equal to 0 0.008. Velocity of water in pipe AB V1 is equal to 2.44 meter per second. And velocity of water in pipe BC V2 is equal to 0 0.63 meter per second. So this was the given question. Let us first understand how to draw the diagram as per given data. Now here it is given that the pipe ABC is inclined and whose slope is given. Now the slope is given 1 in 40. So we can write here 1 by 40 and how we can write the slope? Slope is equal to y by x. So now if we observe here the length of pipe AB as well as BC is given. That is each is 100 meter. So 100 plus 100, 200 meter. So how we can write this? So if we observe here this horizontal line that is x is equal to 200 meter we can plot. So with the help of diagram we will understand this. Suppose here is the pipe A, B, C. Now it is given that flow starts from point A and it ends at point C. Now this is the length. So how to draw the length? So here length of the pipe is 100 for A, B. 104 BC 100 that means here 200 meters. Now we have to find out the vertical distance that is where is we have to plot the point C. So how to find out? So here slope is equal to. So what is the slope of this line? So slope of this inclined line is given 1 by 40 that is y by x is equal to 1 by 40. So x is equal to 200 meters. So what is the value of y? So y if we solve this we will get y is equal to 5 meters. So now we have to draw the diagram. So we will take here the point A that is the center of pipe at this point A or at the starting point will be at the reference line or datum line. So we will take here first one horizontal line and that will be our datum line. So here I have drawn with the help of red marker and that we will refer here as a reference line. Now on this reference line we will plot here one point that will be point A. And now this from this point A we have to draw here the center of pipe. So for that what is the elevation? That means we have to take this vertical distance. So for this vertical line we have to take here the vertical distance is 5 meter. That we have calculated. So when we take this vertical distance 5 meter and here this total length 100 plus 100 that is 200 and here this 5 meter then this point is getting selected. So at this 5 meter distance. Now we have to join these points. So this is the center of pipe. Now it is given that from the center of pipe the first section AB is having diameter 0 0.1 meter. So we have to take this small diameter and then after that for, for the section BC there is diameter is 0 0.2 meter. So we have to show this enlarged diameter and then this enlargement is sudden that is also given. So we have to show here as a corners. So in this way it is getting completed. Now what is happening at this point C? So the exit of the pipe is getting attached to the tank. So here at the end of this pipe should have 
we have to attach to the tank. So here we can say this is the tank. So in this way this diagram is getting completed. Now if we observe this diagram, what is the flow? So flow is in the direction from this point A to C. But here the pipe is having different cross section area. That means flow is having different velocity. So we can say that in this pipe AB, the velocity is in the direction of flow. So I will show here velocity V1. And for this pipe BC, again here, velocity will be V2. Because this pipe is having different cross section area. So we have to plot this. Now if we observe here, what are the losses that are taking place? Now, when the water is flowing from this point A to B, there are the losses due to friction. So here coefficient of friction is given and we can find out the friction losses or the head loss due to friction when the water is flowing through this pipe A to B. That is HF1 is equal to. So we have to take 4FL1 V1 square by 2G D1. So what is the velocity V1? It is given 2.54 meter per second. So we have to put all the values and then we will get the answer 10.52 meter. Then after that the water is entering into this second pipe where the sudden enlargement is taking place. So again there are the losses due to sudden enlargement. So again we have to calculate this. So HE is equal to what is the formula? V1 minus V2 bracket square by 2G. So what is V1? It is given V2 0.63 meter per second. So when we put value we will get HE is equal to 0.186 meter. And next when this water is flowing through this pipe section B to C again water is in contact with the pipe surface. So again there are the head loss due to friction losses taking place. So here again we have to calculate HF2 because we will consider this is the pipe 1 and this is the pipe 2. So what is the HF2? 4FL2 V2 square by 2G D2. So when we put here values then we will get 0 0.323 meter is the value of HF2. Now here pressure intensity at point A is given. So it is given in Newton per centimeter square. So from that we can calculate here what is the pressure head. So how to calculate it? That is we know that pressure head at point A that is equal to P1. Now we will consider this is the pipe 1. So how we can write here P1 by rho g. So now this P1 is given that is 19.62 Newton per centimeter square. Now we will we have to convert it into standard unit that is Newton per meter square. So we can write here 19.62 into 10 raised to 4 divided by 1000 into 9.81 and which is equal to 20 meter. So we can say that pressure head at point A that we have calculated then head loss due to friction in pipe 1, head loss due to friction in pipe 2 and the loss due to sudden enlargement. So these are the losses that we have to calculate to draw the total energy line as well as hydraulic gradient line. Now we will draw total energy line and for that we have to find out what is the total energy at point A, total energy at point B and total energy at point C. So how to find out the total energy at point A? So we know that pressure head plus kinetic head plus datum head at point A. So here we will consider the center of the point at this point A will be on the reference line. So datum head will become 0. So what is the pressure head that we have already calculated which is equal to 20. Then what is the kinetic head that is V1 square by 2G. So when we put here value then 2.54 square by 2.2 into 9.81 and plus Z1 that is 0. So when we calculate this we will get 20 point 328 meter. So we have to draw here one line or, and we have to select the height of 20.328 meter. So from this point A draw a one vertical line which is at a height of I will mention here 20.328 meter and we have to select one point that will be the point D. Now 
what is happening when this water is flowing from this point A to B with velocity V1. There is the loss of head due to friction. So we have already calculated what is the head loss due to friction in this AB. So what is this? That is HF1 is equal to 10.52 meter. So how to calculate the total energy at B? So this total energy at A minus head loss due to friction in this pipe AB. So we have to subtract it. So for that again we have to draw one horizontal line equal to length of this pipe AB. So from this point D draw here one horizontal line. So I will draw here. So I will give here as a point P. Then we have to draw one line in vertically downward direction which is equal to head loss due to friction that is HF1 10.52. So I will draw here one line from this point P and we have to mention that that is HF1 is equal to 10.52 meter. So its a value is 10.52 meter. So I will give here that is the point E. Then next. So what is happening when this water is entering into this Section B to C there are again losses due to sudden enlargement. So again head is getting lost. So again we have to mention here that is we have already calculated head lost is equal to 0 0.186 meter. So again I will draw here next vertical line in the downward direction. That means I will say here this is the point F and its a value is HE is equal to 0 0.186 meter so in this way here is the point f that is this total head is getting lost when the water is entering from this section a b to b c that is head loss due to friction and head loss due to sudden enlargement now again we will find out what is the total energy at point c so what is happening when the water is flowing from B to C? Again there is head loss due to friction. So we have to mention that. So I will draw here one horizontal line. And this horizontal line will be equal to length of the pipe BC. So here this is B to C. So we have to take here this is the point C. So here is the length BC. So I will mention here the, this is the length L1 and this is the length L2. So if I give here the dimension then here this is L1 and L2. Now again I will give here that is the point G. So what is happening again there is head loss due to friction that is equal to HF2. So HF2 is equal to 0 0.323 meter. So again we have to draw one line which is in vertically downward direction and here I will say this will be the point H and what is its value? So G to H is equal to HF2 which is equal to uh, 0, 0 0.323. So here is the point H. So at this point H we can say that the total energy at the point C is up to this point H. So how we can calculate here? So we can also calculate what is the total energy at point C. So here the pressure head or the at point C is given. That is pressure head at point C is P2 by rho G and it is given 4.278 meter. So when we put here value and we will calculate the total energy at point C. So we will calculate here. So P2 by rho g plus V2 square by 2g plus Z2. So P2 by rho g is given 4.278 meter. Then V2 that we know. So when we put here value of V2 and make the calculation plus Z2. So here the datum head of this point C that is from the reference line what is the distance 5 meter. So when we put here all the values so value of kinetic head that is 0 0.02. So when we so all this we will get answer 9.298 meter. So we can say that the distance from C to H is 9.298 meter. Now this calculation is not necessary but for the uh, 
understanding purpose i have calculated this what is the total energy at sea but we can if uh, I, we subtract the losses then we can easily get what is the uh, total energy at point c that is it is up to this point h so when we can say that from this calculation the distance from the c to h is equal to 9.298 meter now we can make here the cross calculation that is if we have to check that our diagram is right or not then we have to add all these total energies at different points that means we can add here this distance c to h is equal to 9.298 so i will add here 9.298 plus 0 0.323 plus 0 0.186 plus 10.52 then our answer is 20.327 that means here this total height that is 20.328 meter and here the answer is 20.327 meter that means our calculation is correct now here the total energy at point c is not necessary for the calculation but here we can if we subtract here the head lost we will easily get this is the point now again we, we have to draw here the total energy line so how to draw now here what is the head lost here that is from point g to e and then e to f so with the help of red marker i will draw here the line d to e and then e to f and then again from this here head lost from this f to h So this is the D E F H is the total energy line. Now we have to draw hydraulic gradient line. So how to draw? So we know that hydraulic gradient line is the summation of pressure head plus datum head. So if we observe from this point A that is from the total energy line here is the point D that is the total energy at point A we have to subtract what is the kinetic head. So what is the kinetic head at this point A that is V1 square by 2G which is equal to 0 0.328 meter. So we have to select one point that is from below this point D at a distance of 0 0.328 meter and then from that we have to draw a parallel line to this total energy line for this section that is from parallel to d to e we have to draw here one line so i will select here that will be point q and if i draw here parallel line so i will draw a line in the form of dash so here I will say this will be point R. Then again at point C we know what is the total energy that is up to this point H. So from this point H we have to subtract the kinetic head at point C. So what is the kinetic head at point C that is equal to V2 square by 2G. So when we calculate this we will get here 0 0.02 meter that means it is very small distance. So we have to select one point that is below this point H and we will say that this will be point S and we have to draw a parallel line. So this F to H line we have to draw here one parallel line. So I will draw line in the form of dash. So I will say this point will be point T. So now we have to join this point R and T. So if we observe Q R T S is the hydraulic gradient line. 